How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you Netflix on the Surface tablet uh, with Windows RT. And let's go ahead and jump right into Netflix. And as you open up the app, we see our nice rich Netflix symbol with our uh, little loading circle. And this here is our home screen. And as you can see, it's a it's a whole different layout than what you're used to with Netflix. It's um, very similar to the Metro UI or user interface that is uh, the Surface tablet. And so, first thing you'll notice is that everything that you do is going to be left to right. Like the scrolling right now is all left to right. Nothing is up and down. I have to get used to that because I'm like in areas and trying to go up and down. It's not everything is left and right. So let me show you one of my favorite features about this is that. Um, Let's say I want to go to recently added. I want to see all the new things that are on Netflix. I tap on that little arrow and a um, couple of seconds, let it load. A couple more seconds, let it load. Bam. All your movies right there. And again, left to right. Uh, and what I love about this is that on a lot of the other tablets, um, you have to kind of go one by one in each section to kind of see what's there. Well, this has everything uh, just spread out and just so easy to see. Like within 15 seconds, you can see every new movie that's been added to Netflix. You know, so I just love that, that it's, it's so big and spread out, and they kind of just have all like the the album covers on the front. So it's really easy to spot. You know, if there's something good on there that you like, or if you're like, oh, I've seen all those, no big deal. So that's pretty awesome. If we want to go back, we have two options. You can either use the back arrow, which is right here, or you can tap this arrow right here, which is kind of a shortcut that takes you back to the um, Netflix um, like home options. We can tap the home button, or we can press home here. You can also see your top ten. Top ten is right here. New releases, and you can separate by genre, and then kind of go through and just pick which one you want to. Uh, go to like I probably go to comedies because I'm a comedy guy. And I think that's probably my only downside. I see is just um, the app just crashed, which um, which is something that's been happening a little bit just because it's so new. So I guess the bugs are kind of getting worked out. Um, and also, it, it does take a little long to load sometimes. I, I don't really like that part about it, but um, definitely love how pretty the interface is. Some of you are probably saying, "Hey, show me a movie. Let me see something on here." Well. Um, Let's do that. Let's find a movie here. And then I can show you some of the controls and kind of just how it plays. Once again, loading taking a little while. Not really feeling that, but you know, not too big of a deal. Let's go to let's see. I saw Bobby's World on here. One quick swipe and you're all the way across. That's so crazy. Oh, these are new releases. I wanted to see something that was in just added. All right, let's go back real quick. And we're going to go over to recently added. There we go. Okay, and from there, I'm going to go to Bobby's World. Once again, like a two to three second, up to five seconds loading. A little cheesy, just get a little bit faster. So I'm going to tap on Bobby's Pro. This is obviously an older show, so after that I'm going to do a newer show so you can see what uh, better quality is supposed to look like. So right here you get a little nice little summary. You get the time frame when the show was on the air, seven seasons. Um, you can actually, from the season arrow here, you can go anywhere from one to seven, which is pretty cool. You can see how many episodes are in the season, the characters are starring, the rating. You can add it to your keen just by tapping right here. And let's do um, Rebel Without a Cause. Okay. So it's loading up here. This is also something I'm not too used to because um, I don't know. I mean, well. Every now and then Netflix does have to load, but usually it's pretty quick in terms of it snapping on, so um, I'm not feeling that too much, but not that big of a deal. Obviously, this is a show that was on the 90s, so it's not in HD, and uh, it was shot in full screen or done in full screen, so, you know, if we tap the screen here, we have our controls, we can just drag up and back really easy, our volume is right here, 
and that volume look is very similar to what you see on the Kindle Fire, same little icon. Change your languages right here, add your subtitles. And then if you want to go back, we're going to just tap our arrow right there like that, and then it throws us right back into the app. Now, this time, let's pick a newer show that um, is shot in HD, and the app just crashed again, so you can see how they're still, again, working the bugs out. Obviously, it's only been out for, I think, three or four days, so... Um, I'm sure by the time you get it, uh, it'll be a lot better. So let's just drag it across here. Let's go to recently added and then when I go to the office, we can watch one of their episodes and for, don't mind the camera when the screen is black, it has a little trouble uh, focusing. So let's go to the office here. We'll just pick an episode at random. And again, just a nice, easy way just to kind of get between your settings there. And let's go to Season 7. This is kind of, kind of reminds me of like the Apple TV interface for Netflix because it does seem to have to load at every turn when you click something, whereas... Um, on the PS3, it seems like um, like on PS3 or on Kindle Fire, an iPad, it tends to load a little bit faster. So that's just um, when I'm when I'm comparing it, I'm just thinking like I've seen this be faster on other devices. So, but again, you guys, I'm being a little bit um, uh, nitpicky. Obviously, this device is brand new and it literally just came out. So, you know. All right, so as Netflix normally does, it takes a second to kind of clean up the picture, and then usually the HD will kind of snap right in. So, there you go. It's looking a little bit better now. But definitely does look good with the screen. It's nice and sharp and clear now. Okay. You see the face detection is, uh... <laughs> oh, you can't see it from the camera. I want to see from my end. All right. So... Tap Not the screen here, okay. go back, and a few more things I want to show you then we'll be done is, uh, for those of you that know with Surface, the um, to bring up the menu options in any app, um, there's not a dedicated button, you pretty much will swipe uh, from the uh, edge of the screen to the left, and it will bring up this menu right here, and so with this search option, I can search Netflix that quick, okay, so... I can go ahead and just tap here, and let's check for, uh, let's type in Christmas and see what comes up. Let's do a keyboard here. We can see what Christmas shows are available on Netflix. Obviously, they're preparing early, so we got a good selection here. And what's funny is I almost bought some of these movies on DVD, so... Nice to know they're already on Netflix. And let's see what else we have for, uh, let's go to settings. So your account here, if you want to sign out, you're going to go here. Um, ratings and reviews right here. Let's see, what else? That's about it. I mean, um, there's nothing in here to share. So pretty much that is Netflix on the Surface tablet with Windows RT. And again, nice little interface. Does take a little long to load. Not really feeling that part, but I love just the uh, the interface in that new Metro UI or, or user interface, which is what Windows is uh, kind of doing with their operating system. And uh, looks nice, runs good. Little low lag on the loading, but obviously that will get better as time goes by. So, hope you found this helpful. Go ahead and like the video if you did. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos, and remember, have a good one.